Good afternoon. A fatal accident inquiry has ruled that the death of a six-month-old baby from Fife was because of a fault with his cot. Ainsley Smith passed away in his sleep at his Pitlessie home in July 2009 after becoming trapped between the mattress and the side of his cot. Post-mortem results showed he was unable to breathe because his airway became trapped. The hearing found that the Casotto cot he was in had a design defect that led to it becoming loose, meaning there was a gap for a child to fall into. Ainsley's parents, Ainsley and Alex, have welcomed the findings. Dundee could be one of the areas hit hardest by UK government welfare reforms. That's according to a new study. Sheffield Hallam University's analysis says the changes would cost the city economy £58 million a year. That's the equivalent of £600 per adult of working age. It's also found the Scottish economy could lose £1.6 billion annually. The Scottish Parliament's Welfare Reform Committee commissioned the report and its convener, Michael McMahon, says the reforms will affect everyone. The reality is that everyone will lose out, those directly affected by having their uh, benefits cut. But as the report shows, that means taking huge amounts of money out of local economies which will impact on small businesses, which will impact on people's employment prospects. We now know who's been invited to Margaret Thatcher's funeral next Wednesday. All surviving former Prime Ministers and US Presidents are on the guest list, along with Tory Ministers and celebrities like Jeremy Clarkson, Shirley Bassey and Andrew Lloyd Webber. But not everyone's convinced Baroness Thatcher should receive such attention, something David Cameron disagrees with. I think it was right to recall Parliament. I thought the tributes yesterday were well done and, generally speaking, brought the House of Commons together. And I think it's right to have a ceremonial funeral with key elements of a, of a state funeral, with the troops lining the route. A councillor says he's worried about the impact of a traveller's encampment near Dundee Airport. A camp's been set up at the former Scottish water site on the Riverside Business Park. Fraser McPherson's concerns come just as another city encampment has been issued with a 24-hour eviction order. He's already contacted the site owner, the city council and police about the issue. I think it's very important that all agencies work together to get the swift resolution of the matter. The airport uh, manager is quite rightly concerned about having um, an occupation so close to the airport runway and I think it's very important that we see a swift resolution of the matter. Two climbers in the Angus Glens had to be rescued after getting lost because of poor weather.